At approximately 9.15 p.m. on Friday, February 28th, officers responded to a call of shots fired in the 1400 block of Copperfield Boulevard Southeast. While circulating the area at approximately 9.45 p.m., they were alerted to a suspicious vehicle, which was subsequently confirmed as being stolen. The vehicle fled the scene and was being driven in an extremely dangerous and erratic manner. We are aware of at least two hit-and-run collisions with citizens that were initiated by the F-350 before it was stopped. The vehicle is also driving on sidewalks and pathways during the incident. Once southbound on Deerfoot Trail, the vehicle attempted to cross a GM barrier to enter the northbound lanes and was unsuccessful. The vehicle then turned and began traveling northbound in the southbound lanes of Deerfoot Trail. At that time, our officers made the decision that the vehicle had to be stopped for the safety of the public and the vehicle was boxed in at Deerfoot Trail and Mackenzie Lake Boulevard. One of the officers immediately exited his vehicle to make an arrest and began challenging the driver. Instead of surrendering, the driver accelerated at our member and began ramming police vehicles in an attempt to escape, putting the officer at risk. Both occupants of the vehicle took actions that our officers clearly saw as being life-threatening. It was at that point in time the determination was made to use deadly force. They put innocent citizens at risk, multiple innocent citizens in their own vehicles, driving down the road, just obeying the laws, at risk. They showed total disregard in the F-350 for any kind of uh, consideration for others do, using the road or police officers. And finally, when there was one um, opportunity for them to surrender and terminate the event, they did not want to terminate it. They wanted to continue on. These are the facts. But the events leading up to the shooting, I guess people would have to say, would they have preferred the police to have stepped back, let these people continue the wrong way down Deerfoot Trail, or to intervene at that point in time and take action to reduce the risk? Would they have done anything different, or would they have let the, those people put innocent uh, uh, citizens at risk? Because that's where this was going. It wasn't going to have an happy ending. 